Hey people, it's me Tori and today I'm going to be showing you my finished 5 star Autumn Court Island tour. So this is my island called Evermore that I started at the beginning of this year and now she is finished. Also, happy Christmas if you celebrate and if it is indeed still Christmas when you're watching this video. If not, I apologise if it is August and you're watching this video and you're thinking, huh? It ain't Christmas, what's happening? But anyway, I'm going to be showing you my five star autumn island. So we will start with my map. So here is the completed map. You can see my dream address towards the bottom of the screen. So that island's dream address is uploaded. So if you have Nintendo online and you make your character go to sleep, you can actually search for my uploaded dream island using the dream address you see on the screen. So we have my character and a second character called Brewster because I was going to recreate the roost. We have Sylvana, Bo, Buck, Sparrow, Tammy, Wolfgang, he's the newest resident, Drift, Marshall, Jeremiah and Timbra. So I have a second character called Brewster because I was going to recreate the roost and then obviously we got the new update which added Brewster. But this island is pre 2.0 update so I didn't use any 2.0 items in this island or on this island whatsoever. So we have some chrysanthemums, they're meant to be like some crops of some kind, we got some mushrooms and here I really love it we have my Christmas tree farm. I know it's an autumn themed island but I felt like they were growing some trees in preparation for Christmas time so I did some stunted tree growth. Now to do this I feel like a lot of people know but basically you have to plant a fruit tree sapling behind the trees and it has to be a fruit tree and not a coconut. Here is my model village. I thought this was a really cute idea. So basically these houses are from like toy day kind of it's not a toy day event as such like um through december nooks cranny sell toy day items and they sell little dolls houses and i got them in different colors so <laughs> and i have some pumpkins i turn them around because i didn't want my island to be spooky themed it is just autumn core here we have a fruit tree orchard with all of the fruits i think this is really cute i like it you know Obviously peaches and cherries aren't particularly autumn themed but I still wanted to have them on my island so I decided that it was a good thing to have. Now here is my beach, I literally just have coconut trees because I liked the simple aesthetic. Um, yeah, I'm not lazy, I just wanted my beaches to be simple. <laughs> you can also see as well I have a lot of fir trees with nothing um, in between them just because I wanted the simple look, you know? <gasps> Bo, I love Bo, I love him. Okay, let's go and speak to Bo. He's reading a book. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Another neat day on Evermore. It's such a shame Evermore's going to be deleted. <laughs> yeah, so now Evermore is a five-star island. Um, I'll show you proof in a second. I'll show you my Jacob's Ladder flowers. Um, so this is Timbra's house. I put her, originally she wasn't meant to be in the forest, this is just where I had Shari's house originally, at the very start of the game. This is like the only building that hasn't moved in the game. Um, I decided to keep her there because I liked her being in the forest. I've got these little statues to protect Brewster's house, I think that's really cute. So I just decided to keep Timbra in the middle of the forest because I thought that was really cute. This is my second character's house. Originally my main house was here but then I made myself a big old fancy farm and decided to put my second character's house here. I really like it though, I think it's still really cute. Um, I'm going to show you the inside of her house. Um, it's, it's not the best house in the world. I haven't really done a lot with the interior decorating. I've got a little football table. I don't know, I've never played table football in my life, so I don't really know what you do with it. <laughs> I've got a coffee machine, because, you know, Brewster. And, you know, this is their um, their main room. The bedroom is pink, because Brewster has pink hair. <laughs> I don't really do a lot with the interior decorating of these houses, to be honest. I don't really feel like it's my forte. I don't really, I don't really care. And now, the bedroom is very plain, but I do like this traditional... Um, energy that I'm getting with the beams and that bed and the dark wood and the tea. You gotta have tea. You know, it's cozy. It's nice. I, I like the energy of this room. 
<laughs> I haven't done a lot of decorating though. My main character's house is slightly better than this. It's fully upgraded apart from the storage. This one's only been upgraded a few times. And it's better, but it's not great. But it is better. Yeah, so the main reason I'm doing this island tour today is obviously it is coming up to the end of 2021, which is basically 2020 part two already, which is very surprising. Like, where did the time go? Oh my God, you can see my house in the background. I just realized that. I love the view. It's great. I love it. <laughs> and I finished Evermore Island and I just want a new chapter now. I want a new island to decorate for 2022. So my sister is going to be giving me her island um, Cherry Bay to work on. So I'm actually going to be deleting this one. So by the time you watch this video, Evermore will be deleted. But if you do want to see this island, you can search for my dream address, which I will show you at the end of the video. Now, I really love this fountain here and this museum that you see, this brown museum design, it actually doesn't exist anymore. So if you start a new island and you upgrade it from the tent, it actually just upgrades to like the almost fully upgraded museum without Brewster, like the fully upgraded design just obviously not with the roost in it and Nintendo basically patched this one out to make it easier to upgrade the museum and therefore to get Brewster but it does mean you can't get this brown museum anymore so it's kind of iconic and I wanted to keep it so I mean I love that here I have some stepping stones I got this idea from Froggy Crossing because she has a lot of areas like this with stepping stones in her island and I thought it was really cute obviously um her island is kid core not autumn core but <laughs> no buck you can't move out oh my god this is buck and he is my best friend and I'm really hoping that um, YouTube's um, <laughs> auto-generated um, subtitles isn't going to butcher what I just said there. <laughs> but he is my best friend and he can't leave. No, you will never leave, even though I'm literally resetting this island. So this is my little flower garden. I love it. Over the stepping stone. You can tell I'm obsessed with stepping stones. This is Bo's Pear Orchard. This has been unchanged for a long time. This was one of my oldest builds on this island and I haven't done anything with it. I mean, I changed the trees a while back. In my last update video, when my island had four stars, I put some um fir trees in or are they called evergreen trees yeah evergreen trees <gasps> oh a jacob's ladder a uh, very good view of the jacob's ladder i have three on my island and there is one of them for you to look at just to prove to you that i have five stars and over here is a path down to red secret beach except i've never had red on this island because i haven't upgraded my museum here you can see these little um cliff thingies sticking out they are stepping stones and i will show you um, them in action in a second. I don't know what this transition area is. I don't really like it. We've got a sunken level transition area, the most pointless bridge in history, and another Jacob's Ladder flower, which, you know, is great. I feel amazing and accomplished. I have actually achieved something in Animal Crossing. We have some bamboo, um, great symmetry going on. We have a communal area. I have two neighborhoods on this island. Um, this is the slightly bigger, slightly fancier area. It's a little bit plain because I didn't want too much going on on my island. I didn't want any lag. I didn't want to disrupt the flow. This is Wolfgang. He's doing some stretches. He is a jock villager. I have a lot of jock villagers on my island because I also have Buck and I also have Drift. This is Drift's house. I love Drift. I think he is great. Um, this is Buck's house. I have a lot of jocks on this island. Apparently everybody on this island loves sports, but not me. I would rather um, stay inside and play Animal Crossing. <laughs> and that's Tammy's house. I feel like Tammy's kind of sporty as well. She's always doing fitness on the island. They have hobbies in this game, don't they? So hers is fitness. And then I've put a lighthouse on this peninsula and I raised this one up several levels because I wanted to create some height and create the illusion of a lighthouse looking over the ocean. So I've got a lighthouse here with a very pointless incline. This little path goes down to my campsite and oh, I have a villager in right now. Let's go and see who that is. I would love to know who that is. And I also put some kids tent toys that you can get from the 
uh, toy day sort of season in nooks cranny up here in different colour variations as well to look like the campsite villager isn't completely alone I have some very cute little drawings in the sand so it looks like your villagers have drawn something in the sand very cute but let's go and see who we have in this campsite because I'm really excited to see who we have okay so we have oh I have never seen you before what is your name Elma Hello, welcome to Evermore Island. Sadly, it is going to be reset soon, but I hope you enjoy your stay. And maybe I'll see you one day in the future. <laughs> oh my god. I am i can't believe I'm actually going to be resetting this island. This is, this is sad. I love my island. I don't want to reset it. <laughs> and as you can see, I've got a little bike here. It's kind of hidden by the tree. I thought that was really cute. You know, just a cute little detail. It's it's the details. Here is my stone arch leading to my um, one of my entrances to this neighborhood. That is 90 stone. It uses 90 stone. That is so much. These are kind of Halloween themed. I kind of love them though. This is Marshall's house. And next to Marshall's house is Silvana's house. And I feel like they're dating. I just get that kind of impression, you know. We got Jeremiah's house, we got Sparrow's house, we have a well over here. We got some nice symmetrical flowers, which I do love. And then I'm gonna show you how to get over to my house. There's two ways you can get over to my house. And there's some trees here, very um, simple, because I wanted that simple look. Um, AKA I was just too lazy to put anything here and I just wanted to finish my island. <laughs> so we got some little stepping stones back over to the Christmas tree farm, back past the little model village. And then obviously we're back at my little farm area and my house. So I think I'm going to show you the last area on my island. This is my little like town slash shopping district. And then I will show you the interior of my house. Okay, so you go through the spooky arch and there's a little heart shaped pond, which is really cute. I, I don't know, I just decided to put it there. I think it looks cute there. So I like it, we got some little stone pieces. And then here is my shopping district. So we have the Abel sisters with some kind of autumn themed clothes outside. Here we have a um, bakery slash grocery store. I don't know what you buy there because you know, you can see bread in the window. There's a popcorn machine. There is a basket of tomatoes and I don't know, is that cucumbers? I'm not really sure. We have a little serving cart here. Now this tree, I think is really cute. So you know like the town tree in Animal Crossing New Leaf that your mare can plant? Um, obviously do we don't have that in New Horizons so I decided to replicate that by just planting a tree in the middle of the neighbourhood and then we have a little pile of leaves which looks like some leaves fell from the tree and it's really cute. And then I put a little signpost sign because I don't know maybe you get lost and you need some directions. This is kind of like the touristy area of the island. We've got some candy floss. We have a mailbox because obviously in the UK we have red mailboxes and I just thought it was cute to put this in the little town area I just I just thought that was cute so I got a little red mailbox I really love that idea and I also have nooks cranny I have one solitary dining area with a salad bar because gotta love that salad we got some tomatoes and some lettuce and some cucumber and anyone that tells you that lettuce is bad they're lying lettuce is good no sandwich is ever complete without lettuce and I am not wrong I am correct and then we go over this bridge, which used to be an iron bridge, but I changed it. And we go back over to the neighborhood area again with some apple trees and a well. So now I'm going to show you the interior of my house. And then I think I've pretty much shown you everything on this island, which I can't believe I'm going to reset it soon because, wow, I... I, I'm really sad about this. Oh, I also have some pumpkins which I planted on the beach. I had to plant them on grass because they don't actually grow on the beach and then put them back on the beach, but we have a little pumpkin farm going on. I can't believe I'm going to be resetting my island. Look at Tammy eating that sandwich she got from the grocery store. I can see lettuce in that sandwich and I am jealous. I love a good sandwich with lettuce in it. I just love it. So I'm going to show you my house. 
Okay, welcome. This is my house. This is my main room. It is certainly not the best room. I have a Halloween banner up there. I don't know why. I didn't want my island to be Halloween themed. We have a fireplace with an old gramophone. We have this old parquet flooring, an old sewing machine, and we have a yellow Nintendo Switch light because I have a yellow Nintendo Switch light in real life and I love it and yeah i mean this island is on my yellow nintendo switch light so i decided to have it in this house um breaking the fourth wall in here is my study um it's not the best room in the world as you can see um there's not really a lot on the walls the walls are bright orange but i really love the floor it's kind of fancy and it gives me studying energy we have a school chair because obviously if you sit on that school chair, you suddenly get all that brain power. Um, I feel like whoever sits in here likes to listen to records because there are two record players and a box of records. So clearly they can't get enough of um, motivational studying records. We have a globe as well just to show that we are studious and we have a bench as well to make it kind of cosy. Like I said, not my best work, but equally she's kind of cute. So this room at the back is my kitchen. Now my kitchen has come a long way and I think she's probably one of my favourite rooms. It's not the greatest room in the world, I can see that, but I really love it. So we have this cool like white tile wallpaper, the fridge that functions as a wardrobe. I don't know why Animal Crossing decided to make a fridge function as a wardrobe, possibly the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But we have this little diner bench, we have a carrot cake, which honestly carrot cake is delicious. And we have this little mixer and I just, I really love this room. In here is my bathroom and it really, it isn't anything special so I'll show it to you quickly but genuinely it's, it's not that special. And then upstairs we have my bedroom. I think this actually might be my favourite room in the house, more so than the kitchen, because um, it's very elegant in here. I love this wallpaper. This flooring is really cute. We have a vanity, and next to the vanity we have a panda, because I had a, a giant panda, and it's just very kind of nostalgic. You know, this giant panda in the room, and I just felt like we needed it. I don't know, it's just very elegant and I feel like it would be very relaxing in here so it's probably my favourite room in the house. So finally we have my basement! My creepy, evil, scary, dark basement with barely anything in it. We have a scary um, spinning wheel. Um, make sure not to um, hurt your finger on it otherwise you might be asleep for a thousand years. And we have a little um, ship in a bottle and a dartboard and some HHA awards. Happy Home Academy, yes, very scary. Um, very apt for a basement. Scary, get letters in your mailbox every Sunday telling you that your house is trash. <laughs> so this is my whole island. I will show you the map again in a second just so that you can see the layout and get my dream address if you want to tour it for yourself in person. But, you know, I've finished with this whole island now and I had a lot of fun with it. You know, this island's always going to hold a special place in my heart because it's, you know, my first ever island and I can't believe I'm deleting it. This island, when you watch this video, she's going to be gone. I, I, I miss her already, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't be too sad about the fact that I am deleting Evermore. She will always exist on YouTube because I've done quite a few videos of making my island on YouTube and I'm getting my sister's island called Cherry Bay soon which is going to be really fun to try and renovate because she wanted to reset so I'm I'm taking her island and of course I have Honeycrisp as well so I'm going to go now please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and I hope you have a really good day and I will see you all next time bye everyone